Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Brad Eat Stuff. This evening I swung by Oinarian, the Okinawan restaurant that opened a few months ago in my neighborhood and picked up something they call soba dashi soup. Let's take a look at it. So as you can see here, we've got the soup and underneath we've got some kind of fish cake with squid ink faces of uh, shisa, which are kind of the guardian lions that you often find in Okinawan architecture. All right, so let's try it out, see if it's any good, all right? Hmm, get ourselves a little bit of, little bit of broth here. Well, that's nice, actually. It's really, really nice. Yeah, kind of uh, kind of warm, a um, little bit hearty, I think. Let's get some with one of these little uh, shisa faces here. Hmm. Hmm. It's not bad at all. It tastes kind of like, um, kind of like the fish cakes that you might get. In uh, a standard bowl of ramen, even instant ramen. Um, this is actually not that hot. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, take a sip. We just drink it straight from the cup. Okay, so that's really, really nice. Especially on like a cold day. This is the kind of thing that would warm you right up. All right, I have a little sip here. One more sip just to be safe here. Okay, so when they say it's soba dashi, I mean, it definitely has the kind of consistency of uh, a broth that you might get in like a Japanese noodle soup, like ramen or soba. Um, a little bit of green onion in there, which is actually really nice. And then, of course, um, we got one more of these kind of fish cake squid ink shisa faces right there. Go ahead and eat that right now. Mmm. 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 So not a strong fishy taste, but uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, anyway, um, I've got uh, a little bit left here. I'm going to go ahead and finish it off camera, but I appreciate you guys stopping by. We'll see you in the next one.